Okay, thank you everyone for coming. I'm going to uh, actually start with a, a thank you to Ken McKay. Because honestly, we were sitting in agenda planning and I've read a couple of different proclamations uh, in the last couple of months and they seem so anticlimactic and unceremonial to just read them over a Zoom meeting and then move on in the agenda. <laughs> so Ken says, well, why don't you film yourself uh, somewhere reading this one? And obviously this was a perfect uh, spot to pick. And then, um, and then just the fact that we could make it a little bit more of a community celebration. I do believe there was some plans on June 21st to have um, a festival in Lions Park like we traditionally do, but of course we can't have that this year. So this is uh, St. Albert's um, best attempt at really recognizing today. So thank you to Ken for the idea. It will carry on with some other proclamations, I'm sure. So June 21st is going to be Na National Indigenous Peoples Day. It is also summer solstice, the longest day of the year. So that is uh, nice. It's about recognizing and celebrating um, the contributions as well as uh, the diversity in Canada with the Indigenous people. We have First Nations, we have Inuit, we have Métis. They all uh, have a lot of similarities, but they all have their uniqueness in their heritage, in their cultural practices, in their spiritual beliefs, and their languages. So, you know, the day is about celebrating that diversity in solidarity with one another. So I'm gonna read the proclamation. So, Canada, or, sorry, National Indigenous Peoples Day, whereas, in June 1996, the Governor General of Canada announced June 21st as National Aboriginal Day, thus marking the first National Day of Acknowledgement and Recognition. And whereas in 2017, the Prime Minister of Canada announced changing the name to National Indigenous Peoples Day. And whereas National Indigenous Peoples Day, formerly National Aboriginal Day, is an official day to celebrate, acknowledge the invaluable heritage achievements and diverse cultures of First Nation, Inuit and Métis people of Canada, collectively referred to as Indigenous Peoples, and whereas June 21st is the summer solstice and the longest day of the year, which has significance for Indigenous Peoples and has been commemorated for generations by many as a day of celebration and appreciation of culture and heritage, and whereas celebrations include ceremonies that highlight and honour diverse cultural performances, activities, arts and craft, and events that recognize national contributions of the Indigenous peoples and therefore I, Kathy Herron, Mayor of the City of St. Albert, do hereby proclaim June 21st as National Indigenous Peoples Day in the City of St. Albert. And so on the 21st we will be uh, putting the Treaty 6 flag up at, uh, on our community flagpole and then on the 24th the Métis flag will go up so we will uh, Encourage people in St. Albert to somehow uh, recognize this in your homes, maybe with a uh, with backyard barbecue on the 21st. And um, I'm going to ask Hazel to just step forward real quick. <laughs> and we'll do this as far apart as we can, but I would like to actually hand this off to you and thank you for accepting. Do you want to say a couple words? Oh, Sharon's coming in too. Good. Good. Do you want to say a couple words? Come in. I'll move out of the way. You don't have to, it's just an invite. So I will say that there are other resources out there that we put together through this through the community organizations, Musée Heritage Museum, the Chief Culture Collections, St. Albert Public Library, all have activities that can be accessed online. This is an important day, especially with um, what's going on right now within the world. Um, it's also the fifth year of Truth and Reconciliation. It's the first year since the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women's Report. In the last six months, we've had five Indigenous people either um, killed or assaulted by RCMP officers. Um, not blaming anybody, but there is a systemic thought in our organizations that we really have to work towards in creating a better space and an equal space for everybody. So work, um, celebrations like this and recognitions like this give the opportunity for people to go out and learn more about the Indigenous community in Canada, specifically in St. Albert Treaty 6 and the Métis community, and um, I hope that we're here, able to be here to help um, you in your journey towards reconciliation with the Indigenous community. Merci, Pei. Miigwech kina nako min nim nongo maga bisha ik wech abajitwan genin gigi tuin kaninga kina nasa pudish gigi tu simin 
I'm thanking our ancestors that have walked these, these paths that we are on, thanking them for keep for and reminding ourselves that we have to keep this land and keep it properly like we were entrusted to. So the ones yet to come will enjoy the fruits of this earth. That is our obligation and to remember the residential school survivors that were educated here and that gave up their lives for our children to live and for our mothers and our sisters and our grandmothers that have gone before us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for coming. That is really the entire extent of today's program. I appreciate your attendance. It makes it a little bit more special. Thanks.